Hey, now it's Anthony with ADNA Professional Services. And let's talk about water tanks. Like right now, I'm filling up my water tank. Got uh, two appointments, three vehicles. I know a lot of you guys are wondering uh, how many gallons does it take to detail a car? How many gallons do you need? What size water tank? All of that. Uh, I even had a few, uh, over the years, I've been asked this question a lot. I, I do answer those questions, but I've had a lot of people ask me, where do I fill up my water tank? And I fill up my water tank from my house. Now, does it raise my water bill? No, I don't really see a difference. Uh, maybe $5 and I'm talking about every month. Uh, now, how often do I fill up my water tank? Uh, I'm gonna say maybe once or twice a week. I already had over 60 gallons. Uh, if you can see that, that's the 50 mark. So I assume that this is the 60 mark. I was over. I was already over 60 gallons before I started. So I'm just really always topping it off. Um, so we're gonna do a couple of details today, and I'll just kind of show you uh, as the day goes along how much water I use. Pressure washer. Pressure washer makes a big difference. All right, so this pressure washer right here is 3,000 PSI. So it's a little over 3,000 PSI and it's three gallons per minute. So what that means is for every minute that I'm holding the trigger, which is this right here, for every minute I'm holding the trigger on the wand, that's gonna be three gallons. So, you know, you got to do your own math. So you got to understand. So, it, it, you know, when you wanna ask yourself what type of, what size water tank you need, you know, how many cars are you gonna be doing? Uh, what's your prices? Because me, I maybe do one or two, sometimes four in a day, really max. At the price point that I'm at, uh, I'm not gonna get a lot of cars. So, and I don't need a lot of cars. Uh, so I'm okay with a, with a hundred gallon water tank. I also keep a hose just in case I do run out of water. I can fill up at my customer's house or wherever I'm at. Uh, but I very seldom run out of water because I always fill up before each appointment. I don't care where I'm at. I could be at 70 gallons. I'm gonna fill it all the way up. Um, all right, y'all, I'm on scene. Got two vehicles that had to leave in the other one. So I'll be working on this one, and when I'm almost done, I'll reach out to them, and they'll swap out, and I'll start on the other one. Okay, so we're talking about water tanks. Now, here's the thing. When you're doing water tanks, it depends on the size of the vehicle. So you can see this is an extra-large SUV, uh, which means it's going to take more water because, it's, of course, it's a bigger vehicle. You gotta take into consideration uh, on how dirty the vehicle is as well, on how much water you're gonna need. Um, now, I was talking about prices. You know, I said that my price point doesn't allow me to do a lot of cars. Um, when you start charging, you know, 150 plus a detail, 200 a detail, 300 a detail, you're gonna be catering to a specific demographic. So not everyone will be able to afford it or will we be willing to pay that much but a certain demographic. So that's just gonna limit the cars you're gonna do. But it's not really a bad thing because I mean, this car right here, this is gonna be 290. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, this one is 290. The other one is 290 as well. So, I mean, I don't have to do a lot of cars. You get what I'm saying? Um, but if you're at a lower price point, which means you're possibly gonna be doing more cars, which you may need more water, a larger tank, if you guys understand what I mean. Also, floor mats. If you're gonna be spraying off floor mats, it's gonna take more water because that's, the floor mats come out of the vehicle, it's gonna take more water. You're gonna to to actually have to rinse them off 
you got to take that into consideration. You also got to take into consideration if you got, if you're using a foam cannon, if you're, if you're using multiple buckets, you got to take all that into account. Don't forget to join the New Wave Facebook group. All done with the exterior wash. This is a full detail, so I still have to wax the vehicle and uh, do the inside. I'm not gonna show all that because that's not what the video is about. So I'm just trying to stay on topic. And I'm on a hill, so this is not gonna be a true reading of the water, but you can still get an idea. So here's 70, so I'm probably a little bit above 70. Um, gallons now you see now i've done cars and i've only used 10 gallons or 15 gallons but like i said earlier this morning this is going to be the difference this is what's going to make or break you you know they have electric pressure washers that have a lower uh gallons per minute um or they have you know you can get, add a pump to this or you can regulate it where you can turn it up or down and use less water, you know, less gallons per minute. Uh, but when you reduce it, it also reduces the PSI. It also reduces the gallon per minute, which also slows your rinse time. So it's a lot of things you got to think about. So a lot of people like to ask, what size water tank should I get? How many gallons should it be? Well, you got to answer all these other questions first. That's why it's kind of hard for people to answer that question for you um but again you got to take into consideration the size of the vehicle this is on the larger side uh if you're rinsing floor mats so if you're going to be using a foam cannon every car if y'all notice i didn't use the foam cannon because i'm trying to conserve my water i got three cars to do today and all of them are large vehicles i have a uh i think a f-250 after this one and then my next location i have a honda odyssey it's a huge vehicle. So it's going to take more water. So it looks like I've already used at least 30 gallons of water. You know, or less, a little less than that. I, I rinsed the, the fender wells. They was dirty. Um, fender wells, they were dirty. Um, I had to rinse the floor mats. A pre-rinse on the vehicle. You know, once I wash it, I have to rinse all the soap off. I filled up a five-gallon bucket, so I have five gallons of water right here. Uh, and I have this other bucket. I 
this one right here, I pretty much fill it up halfway. Got to take all this in consideration. All right, Ash and them finally caught up with me. Out of school, he's finishing up, doing the interior. I got to clean these floor mats off. Exterior has been done. I'll throw a little spray wax on there in a second. But as you can see, that's the second vehicle and look where the water is at. It's almost empty. See that? It's a little bit above 30 gallons. I can do one more car with that. I could probably do that Honda with that. Like I said, three vehicles, three large vehicles, five cars. If this, you know, one SUV and, um, and four cars, you probably could do that. But you can take, you gotta take into consideration the cleanliness of the vehicle. And you gotta take a set of, you gotta take a consideration if the vehicle is dirty. Now this vehicle, I didn't get a chance to show the before and after, but the fender wells were dirty, were muddy. Uh, the car was a little dirty, so I had to use a little more water. Let's give y'all the insight of what I'm talking about. So before you go asking somebody what size water tank you need, you need to have a few questions answered yourself about you know how much you're gonna charge, that's gonna determine how many cars you're gonna be doing or how many cars you may be doing. If you got a lower price, chances are you might be detailing more cars because you're at a lower price. Uh, I could do three in a day and be good. I could do four in a day and be good. Um, it just depends. Uh, also, it depends on, again, pressure wash. How many gallons per minute? it up to like 90 if I'm not mistaken but yet still it's only 10 gallons so y'all get the gist of it I actually ran out of water this is a 110 gallon tank but they give you the extra 10 gallons so you can get the 100 gallons because the last 10 gallons of the tank you usually can't get it out unless you tilt the tank and even then you're still not going to get all the water out the tank so as you can see I'm filling it back up with the with the hose like i said i always keep the hose with me customer does not mind i want to show you guys this i can actually fill the tank all the way up right here so i can actually fill the tank all the way up and it'll be ready for my next detail. But all I was able to do was to rinse the vehicle, do the wheels and tires, door jams, uh, the skirts, pressure wash, the floor mats, stuff like that. Ash is working on the inside. So as soon as that thing fills up enough to where I can turn the pressure washer on and spray more water, I'll get back to wash.
Thanks for watching and shouts out to the new wave. Peace.